Hey everyone, this is Blenderman911, and this is part 4 on how to make a rounded life bar for your Blender game. In this part, we're going to be making a texture for this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Solid View, and I'm also going to delete the material on here so we can see it a bit better. Now hit Tab to go to Edit Mode. And what you want to do is in Face Select Mode, you want to have all the top faces selected and you want to deselect all these bottom faces. To deselect, hit B twice and then hold your ALT key and with the left mouse button click and drag over the unwanted faces. So Just erase all of these on the bottom. So it should look like this, all of these selected and all of these deselected. Now hit 7 on the numpad to go into top view, split the area and change it to UV image editor. Now hit U, project from view. Scale it up with the S key and place it about here. Make sure that it still fits within the square right here. Now go to UVs scripts save UV face layout I changed the size to 1024 because it was a little too small and also have these three selected hit OK now select where you want the image to be saved I'm gonna save it on the desktop and hit save UV image and as you can see right here it says no UV coordinates and that happens because I've heard that Python 2.6 it doesn't work properly with this and to fix it you have to go back here and hit tab to go to object mode now hit tab again to go back into edit mode and redo what we just did go to UVs scripts save UV face layout and save it and then click save UV image and this time it should work it might take a little while to save but it should work alright now that you saved your UV face layout you have to either open Photoshop or GIMP I'm going to be using an old Photoshop version that I have and for GIMP it's like Photoshop but free you could just go to Google and type in GIMP and you could easily find it and I'm pretty sure you could follow along using GIMP because this is going to be pretty basic nothing too complicated alright first thing we need to do is go to file open and open our UV face layout now I'm going to zoom in a bit alright now double click your background layer to unlock it I'm also going to rename it to life Now add an empty layer and place it under the life layer. Pick a color. I'm going to pick a dark bluish color. Get your paint bucket tool and fill that layer in with that color. Now back on the life layer, get your magic uh your magic eraser and erase all of the faces. And as you can see as you erase the faces the blue from the bottom layer pops up. So I erase all these. There's no need to erase the middle ones since there's going to be nothing there. So now as we add stuff to our texture we'll see exactly how it is. Now on that same layer, the life layer, get your magic wand and click here to select all the outer bounds hold shift click here to select the circle and do the same thing with this so that you have dotted lines around these two rectangles around the circle right here and around the whole thing now add a new layer and on that new layer go to edit stroke I'm going to change the pixels to 11 the color I'm going to leave it the same because I'm going to add a texture so it's going to look different and select outside hit OK and right now we can't see it because it's the same color as the layer 1 color to fix that 
go to layer 2, right click it and go to blending options. Now I'm not sure how this is on GIMP, but I'm pretty sure you could find a way of making this layer different from that one. So now go to, I'm going to select bevel and emboss, and I'm also going to select texture. Play around with these settings if you want, but I'm going to leave it like this. I'm also going to select stroke, and for the color, I'm going to pick the blue color and drag it down a little bit to make it darker, and change the pixels to 1. Alright, now on that same stroke layer, get your rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to make a rectangle right here. This is going to be where my life percentage is going to go. I'll go to edit, stroke, same thing except I'm going to change the pixels down to 6. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit of design right here. So add a new layer, get your elliptical marquee tool, and draw a circle about this big go to edit stroke same thing except I'm going to change the pixels down a little to 4 hit OK now right click go to blending options I'm going to select bevel and emboss and also stroke and change the stroke color and change it to one pixel. Now get your magic wand tool and select the center of the circle. Get your paint bucket and select a color. I'm going to select white and fill it in. Now I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. Go to edit, transform scale. Hold shift so that it keeps the proportions. Now I'm going to copy this layer and place it every two faces. To do that, left click this layer and drag it down and it will copy it. Drag it down and drop it here and it will copy that layer. There's also a keyboard shortcut but I don't remember what the keys are. So I'm going to place this every two faces. Now this is just the way I'm doing the texture. You could do it a completely different way if you want. I'm just showing you one of the ways that I did it. Alright, now we need to make the oval shape where the character name is. Now there's probably an easier way, but since I never use Photoshop, I'm not familiar with all the tools that there are. So the way I did it is go back into Blender, go down a little bit until you have nothing, space, add, mesh, circle, vertices, I put it at 32 and select fill, hit OK. Now in vertex select mode, select half of the vertices and drag them out to here, select the other half and drag them out to here. Now hit space, add camera, hit zero on the numpad to go into camera view and G and Z to grab it up. Make sure it's within the camera bounds. Now hit space, add lamp, hemi. Alright, now we have to render one PNG image of this object. So go to your scene tab, starting frame one, end frame one. Change it from JPEG to PNG. And right here, select this folder, and this is where the image is going to be saved. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And hit animate. And it will render out one PNG image of this object. I'll go ahead and close that, and I will continue in part 5.